It stands tall and it spans the Detroit River in grand style. The Ambassador Bridge opened 84 years ago, but for people living on the Canadian side, it is not so grand. They're concerned about falling debris, so we sent 7 Action News investigator Jim Kurtzner over to take a look. When you get close to the Windsor side driving over the bridge, the problems become obvious. Several sections of the sidewalk area are covered with big sheets of plywood. And underneath, gaping holes and visible rebar in the concrete. On the ground underneath, similar sized chunks of concrete. Coincidental. How long ago did this show up? About a month ago. Did you know stuff was falling off the bridge? No. And the sign at the student parking gate right under the bridge where hundreds park, not responsible for damage. Does that include the bridge? It's definitely maybe I'll find a new spot, but it is convenient. It's close to where I work. So the bridge hangs high over the river and the riverfront here on the Windsor side. There's this beautiful river walk park. People are glad it no longer goes directly under the bridge. They don't want to take any chances, and neither do we. I think maybe I'll head a little east of that. So you're not surprised? No, I'm not, actually. No, to be honest with you. The bridge buzz was started by a truck driver who saw sections of steel missing and sent these pictures to the Windsor Star. Canadian officials also told them the bridge is inspected every two years and is safe. Don't tell that to the people underneath. Disgraceful. Ridiculous. It should have been taken care of. The bridge is privately owned by 87-year-old billionaire Matty Maroon. He's the guy a Detroit judge tossed into jail for contempt two and a half years ago for not finishing his part of the freeway hookups to the bridge. He also bought up houses along the bridge on the Windsor side for a second bridge he wants to build. They now sit empty and boarded up. He's not well liked here. That's terrible. Yeah. It's uh, it. money yeah. is just not everything. You're putting people's you gotta, lives yeah. at stake. That's yeah. ridiculous. The bridge company says this old section over Windsor will be replaced and interim repairs are done as needed. In Windsor, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.